Good morning. I'm going to be doing the math choice board example where it talks about comparing fractions with that, whether they're greater or less than one half. Um, so uh, I would, my first suggestion for you is that if I, you weren't sure, I would draw out a tape diagram. Um, so if I had two fractions like let's say um, one fourth and one half, and you weren't sure, um, you could say, well, let's draw tape diagrams for both of these. So I have my tape diagrams here. <clears throat> and I'll break up my one half and my one fourth. One, two, three, four, and I'll shade in my one half and shade in the one fourth. And now with the picture, because they're the same length, it's a lot easier to tell, oh, one fourth is a lot smaller than one half. Um, <clears throat> however, sometimes you get fractions, like if I were to choose a different one, let's say um, three sevenths. Some fractions though are so close to one half that it's a little harder, especially um, if it's an odd number. Here, I'll draw this one out. So sevenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three sevenths and one, two, three. So this one would look like it's probably smaller. However, uh, you know, sometimes when you draw them, like we're only human, you can't quite get those exact and drawing those lines out might not be exact, like my middle line might not be. So it's, it's so close that you're just like, ah, I don't know, I'm not really sure. It's probably less than one half. So at that point, when you're, you're not so sure, the next thing I would do is that if it's even, for instance, if it's, um, let's forget three sevenths for a second. If it was three eighths, even numbers are easy to cut in half because they, they break apart in the same pieces. So eight, half of eight would be four. So I know that a half in eighths would be four eighths. So I would compare it to one half with that same denominator. So three eighths versus four eighths. And I know that three eighths is less than four eighths, all right? And the same thing, I can do that with all numbers that are, that are even. It's like um, four tenths. Well, less than or equal to or, or bigger than one half. I know half of 10 is five, so five tenths must be one half. Oh my goodness, why did I write a five there? Five tenths equals one half. Then we know that four tenths must be less than one half or five tenths. Um, or another example, we could do seven twelfths. So I know that half of six is, or uh, half of 12 is six, which would mean that one half equals six twelfths. So, and seven twelfths is greater than six twelfths, meaning seven twelfths is bigger than one half. So the tough part comes when you start getting odd numbers because like three sevenths, now back to that one, seven and all other odd numbers don't cut in half so easily. Um, I'm gonna get like a half part, right? Because half of seven is really three and a half. Um, so if you can just break those up in half, like and know it in your head, oh, if it's an odd number, I have to have that extra half in there, that can help. So when I'm doing this, I think, okay, I'm gonna to go to my next smallest number, so the whole number. So six would be one less than seven, right? And half of six is three. So really this would be three and a half, add an extra half out of seven would be one half. Or if I had, let's see, four ninths, if I drop one, my next even number is eight, and half of eight is four, so I really would have four and a half out of nine. It takes a little bit more thought, but once you just get the idea that it's just, it just halves, then you can start thinking, oh, four is less than four and a half, three is less than three and a half. Um, let's do a couple. So um, if we decided to do, um, how about eight thirteenths? 
So first we'll draw it out as a tape diagram. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, dang it, I probably need to make them smaller. I was thinking eight at first for some reason and not 13, I don't know why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Draw my half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See, we all struggle with drawing tape diagrams. So eight thirteenths, I'll draw that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably greater than one half. However, it is pretty close and it's an odd number. So let's check what a half would be with an odd number. So our next one lowest, or our next smaller whole number from 13 would be 12. And half of 12 is six. So six and a half over 13 would be our half equals one half. So eight is greater than six and a half, which means that thir eight thirteenths has gotta be bigger than a half. I'll give you a couple and I'll let you do it and then we'll check. Um, let's see, how about, um, about eight elevenths. All right, so first I want you to draw a tape diagram for eight elevenths and one half and compare it. And then we'll go from there. So pause your computer and um, start it back up when you're ready to check. All right, eight elevenths. So we'll draw elevenths here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably greater than one half, but let's check using the, um, the finding the half. So go ahead and pause your computer again. Find the half of eleven, and then see if eight elevenths is greater or less than that. All right, so eight elevenths. If we go one less than 11, that would be 10. And half of 10 is five. So five and a half elevenths would be equal to a one half, which means since eight is bigger than five, then eight elevenths is bigger than one half. Um, we'll do one more. Ooh, almost lost it. How about, um, let's see, two fifths. All right, so draw your tape diagram first and check it, and then we will go from there. All right, so two fifths. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna draw in, color in two of them. Probably less, but it's pretty close. It's close enough that I could have had an error when I was drawing it. So now let's do the find the half of the odd number. All right, so I'm thinking in my head, one less than five is four and half of, or half of four is two. So two and a half over five will equal one half. Notice they all have that half in it. Half of seven is three and a half. Half of nine is four and a half. Half of 11 is five and a half. It's always got that half in it um, because you can't break uh, odd numbers evenly into, into two even groups. Um, you're just gonna have that half in every time. So two is just a little bit less than two and a half, which means that two, fi uh, two fifths is just a little less than one half. So I think on your choice board today, it wants you to choose like 
it says choose eight like uh, fraction cards, but um, you can just come up with uh, you know eight numbers. Um, I don't have the the ability to send you fraction cards home, um, so just just choose eight fractions. I would encourage you to choose some that have um, uh, odd numbers in the, in the denominator, and I would also encourage you to choose some that are close to one half to make you really think about it. Um, and then if you really want to check, um, you can uh, you can do the division, and if you get um, you can just you know divide it out. If you get an, um, uh, a number bigger than one half, you'll know, like with the division algorithm. Um, because remember, uh, fractions are really this is really just saying um, two divided by five, and I could divide that out. All right. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm here for you.